Hey there, and welcome back to Juni Learning. In today's video, we're going to go over the first major algebra concept in the SAT math section, linear equations in one variable. There are two common forms of one variable linear equations, and here's the first one. This is when you have a coefficient a times a variable plus a constant, and this whole thing is set equal to zero. And just to make sure everybody's on the same page, a coefficient is a number that's attached to a variable and a constant is a standalone number. So let's look at this quick example. We have 5x minus 10 is equal to zero. And let's say we're trying to solve for x. So the first thing we should do is try to isolate the variable x. So let's look at what we have here. We have 5x minus 10. So let's try to move the 10 to the other side of the equation so we can isolate that 5x. So to move something to the other side of the equation, you have to perform the opposite operation of what the number is. So since we have minus 10, to move it to the other side, we're going to add 10 on both sides. So this will give us 5x is equal to 10. Now similarly, to get rid of that 5 and get x by itself, we're going to divide by 5 on both sides since it's 5 multiplied by x. So if we do that, we'll be left with x equals 10 over 5 or x equals 2. The other most common form is when we have constants and coefficients on both sides of the equation. So we have a coefficient a multiplied by an x plus a constant b and this is going to be set equal to a coefficient c times x plus a coefficient d. So let's look at our next example problem. We have 3x plus 4 is equal to 6x minus 8. So the first thing we should do if we have constants and coefficients on both sides of the equation, we should combine our like terms or try to combine the constants and the coefficients. So let's start with the constants and move the eight to the left side of the equation. So to do that, we're gonna add by eight on both sides and be left with three X plus 12 is equal to six X. So now that that has been combined, let's combine our coefficients and subtract by 3x on both sides. So when we do that, we're going to be left with 12 equals 3x. Now we just solve for x by dividing by 3 on both sides and getting x is equal to 4. All right, now let's quickly recap the solving steps for a one variable linear equation. So first, you're going to figure out the equation you're working with. Now, in the first two equations I showed you, we were just straight up given the equation, but that's not always the case on the SAT. Sometimes it'll be presented in a word problem and you have to figure out the equation based on what the word problem says. So for example, if the word problem is talking about the cost of baking cakes, it could say something like, it takes $5 to start up your cake factory, and then it takes $2 to produce each cake. So in that case, your equation would be five plus 2x, where the constants and coefficients are in dollars and your x is your number of cakes, and that'll help you find the cost of every cake you make. So that's how you get your equation. But once you're given your equation, you combine your like terms. So you'll start with your constants and your constants, and then your coefficients with your coefficients, and then you use your algebra skills to solve for the variable. That's all I had for today's video. I hope you learned something new about equations and are now ready to kill it on the SAT. For more practice problems like the one in the video and access to a 24 seven online study tool, check out ACIT at the link below. ACIT is the ultimate study tool for the SATs and the ACTs created by Juni Learning, an award-winning educational tech company that has helped thousands of students take their learning to the next level. Get a one week free trial when you use the link in the description. Until next time, and good luck studying!